home of the Centurion Swim Club, where we find some of the members entering for their daily workout. Swimmers are in the midst of the fifth annual Swimathon campaign. This is the main fundraising activity of the club, and they have set their goal this year at $4,000. The swimmers raise the money by doing what they know best, swimming. Rob and Nori and Richard Eisner, team captains, practice five days a week. I work out in the water approximately six and a half hours per week for a total of about 15,000 meters. We don't just do continuous laps. Our workouts are broke up, broken up into different sets. The four competitive strokes are backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, and freestyle. Backstroke is one of the easier strokes because your head is always above the water. It has an alternate arm action with a flutter kick on your back. In breaststroke, on the front, the arms are always underwater with a pull underwater also with whip kick for the legs. Butterfly has a double arm over water pull with a dolphin kick. It's a very strenuous stroke and takes a lot of effort. Freestyle's on your front with an also an alternate arm action with a flutter kick on your front. We strengthen our legs and arms by using flutter boards for legs only and pull buoys for arms only. I practice 12 hours per week, early morning and after school. Before we begin working out, we uh, stretch and use flexibility exercises to prevent injury. The workouts are mainly uh, geared for endurance. The swimmers are the best conditioned athletes that there are. Our coach, Jake Borden, uh, says that self-discipline and practice carries over into our schoolwork. He also insists that we keep up our school marks or we can't come to practice. And when exams are scheduled, there is no practice. Swim meets such as this one in Moncton are the reward for all our hard work. Success at the meets is an added bonus. It is here that we make our friends from all over the country. We get to travel at least one weekend a month by car, bus, train, and air. This is the major expense the swimmers have, and the parents' auxiliary raise money to pay for half of each swimmer's meet expenses. When we travel to major meets, such as the nationals or junior nationals, the cost is sometimes shared by the provincial organization. It's getting more and more expensive each year as the team improves and costs rise. Swimathon is the main source of income locally and provincially, so do give when a swimmer calls on you. Ron LeBlanc and Colin Dodds are co-chairmen of this year's Swimathon. They have been busy for the past month organizing the swimmers. The Canadian Amateur Swimming Association established the Swimathon as a major fundraising method. 
It was started in 1969 by the association's past president, W.W. Jack of Calgary, as a method of easing the financial burden of training Canada's Olympic swimmers. The program is used as, as support for the local clubs as well as the provincial and national organizations. Some clubs still use the, the traditional raffles, bake sales, and other methods for fundraising, which show initiative of the club executives and enthusiasm of the youngsters. As part of the national campaign, Swimathon 1982 is now underway in Truro. Children are campaigning with their pledge cards, seeking the public support. This is an opportunity for our public to show the volunteer workers and the swimmers that their efforts are worthwhile. The public's pledges can show the swimmers that facilities will continue to be available for the training and competitive programs necessary to produce future Olympians. Swimathon takes place March 6th and 8th, with pledges being sought now. Hello, my name is Sarah Gilroy, and I'm from the Tourist and Trillian Swim Club. Would you like to sponsor me in the Swimathon? All right, Sarah, I'd like to do that. I just spell my name in here, do I? Yes. Okay. Some are just pledging a certain amount that you're going to swim so many laps, are you? Yep. All right, there you are. Thank you. You're welcome. The Swimathon, as you know, is the major fundraising activity of the Turo Centurion Swim Club, and money raised uh, from this event helps our swimmers to attend swim meets across the province and as far away as St. John's, Newfoundland, Toronto, and Montreal. The Swimathon operates similar to that of a walkathon or bowlathon. Club members are given pledge sheets and request persons to sponsor them an amount of money for each length of the Toro Centennial Pool they swim in a two hour period. Swimmers can swim any stroke or combination of strokes they wish. The maximum amount of lengths a swimmer is permitted to swim is 200 lengths. Sponsors will know by this the maximum amount of money they have pledged. Half the club members will swim on April 6th and the other half on April 8th. The number of lengths they have completed will be marked on their pledge sheets by our coach and the swimmers will then contact their sponsors to collect their pledges. To give one an idea of the distance a swimmer must swim to complete 200 lengths, you must remember that one length of the pool is 25 meters. Therefore, 200 lengths would be 5,000 meters or just over three miles. Last year, $3,800 was raised by the club through Swimathon. This year, our objective is $4,000. The 45 members of the swim club have been divided into seven teams, each with a parent to act as captain. A running total is kept on the progress of each team and is posted at the pool. This makes for some friendly rivalry between the teams as to who has the most money pledged. The teams have been assigned at different areas of the town of Turrell and Colchester County and will conduct a door-to-door -door canvas. This, of course, will not prevent a person from sponsoring any swimmer of the club should that swimmer be a relative or a friend. Swimathon donations are tax deductible and official receipts for any amount will be issued on request. I am confident that the residents of Truro and Colchester County will support the Truro Centurion Swim Club members during their Swimathon campaign this year as well as they did in 1981 and that our goal of $4,000 will be reached. As of March 25th, $1,450 has been pledged. The public is invited to visit the Centennial Pool at 5 p.m. on either April 6th or 8th to watch our swimmers swim this event and to encourage some of our younger swimmers. Dick Eisner, president of the Truro Centurion Swim Club, is very proud of the team's accomplishments. When the pool was built in 1977 as Truro's Centennial Project, the Pool Management Committee encouraged swimmers to form a competitive swim club. Larry Bent, the Aquatics Director at Centennial Pool, himself was a competitive swimmer and coach, and he has been very supportive over the, over the years. The town recreation director at that time, Vincent Roberts, was also quite enthusiastic about the formation of a club. 
over the years the club has grown from twenty five novice swimmers to forty five swimmers embracing all levels of swimming from novice to national levels met various members of the club hold twenty provincial age group records and two senior records for the province of Nova Scotia within the past two weeks one of our swimmers attended the national winter championships in Brantford Ontario and three other of our swimmers attended the Eastern Junior Winter Nationals in Montreal, Quebec. In past December, nine of our swimmers attended the National Youth Cup meet in Toronto. The cost to join the team is kept within the reach of anyone interested. The pool management committee has been very generous with pool time and the allotment of coaching time. The parents of the swimmers work together to raise money and support the team financially. They also work as officials at meets here in town and also as chaperones, transportation, and other officials at meets outside of Toronto. The head coach of the team is Jake Borden. Jake has been with the team since its inception, first as assistant coach and for the past two years as head, head coach. In addition to Jake's tasks as head coach of the Centurion Swim Club, he is also the assistant aquatics director at Centennial Pool and serves in a, an instructor capacity. Jake is a local Truro citizen, grew up in Truro, learned to swim in Truro, and he's someone that we can all be justly proud of as is evidenced by the accomplishments of his swimmers here in Truro. Jake is assistant by Diane Levy and also by John Fullerton. These three people constitute the coaching staff of the Truro Centurion Swim Club. These young athletes uh, got a great deal of support from the community and we would ask you to continue with that support and pledge something, no matter how little, to a youngster when one calls so that they may be able to continue to improve and represent our town with such outstanding accomplishments. <laughs> 